after logging into uh, Nessus Professional, I can either click on that link, which says create new scan here in the middle of the screen, or I can go ahead and click new scan on the top right side of the interface. I'm gonna look for the offline configuration audit. Let's go ahead and click on offline configuration audit. Now we are presented with the configuration for the scan. So you can basically give it a name. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna say, uh, store this scan in my, my scans folder in my, my scans workspace right here on the left side. I don't want to save it on my Cisco uh, audits yet. So now we'll go ahead and click on the compliance tab. It's going to be a Cisco iOS 12 uh, audit. Let's go ahead and select Cisco iOS 12 L1 version 4.0.0. You can see that the uh, baseline that the checks are being moved here to the right side. And this is just the configuration for things that we can actually personalize or customize. I'm not gonna change any of these right now. I'm just gonna say here on the bottom of the screen, uh, add file, and this is where I'm going to input, or this is what I'm, where I'm going to attach my config file. I'm selecting add file from the add file prompt. Now I'm gonna open this one. And basically this scan is ready. Let me go ahead and click on the launch button. That scan took almost no time at all. We can go ahead and review those results. Let me go ahead and click here on the name of the scan. And as you can see on screen, we have 34 different checks that failed and we have 17 different checks that passed that were correctly configured on that box. This is not vulnerability scanning. This is actually auditing or compliance scanning. Let's go ahead and click uh, on that tab on the top. And now we can review what was correctly or incorrectly configured in that box. Looking into the details for one of these, let's go ahead and open that first one, AAA authentication uh, login failure. So as you can see, the Nessus scan, the job that we just ran, did not find AAA authentication enabled on that box. It's not present. So therefore the authentication is not secure. And remember always that on the right side, you will have the different references to other practices like uh, cybersecurity frameworks. ISO 27000 could be one of the options here. It's, it's different references that we have that can help you see how your efforts improve your security posture over time.